Alright, hey guys, welcome back to more Kirby's Epic Yarn. In the last episode, we went to, uh, Castle DDD and beat that. And in this episode, we are battling the last boss, the final boss, Yin Yarn. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, I actually danced to this music one time. Boy, let me tell you, it was... I was tired afterwards. <laughs> okay. Okay, I know what I'm supposed to do. He's basically going to give us... Uh, the other bosses that we've battled before. So this is basically the same battle that we did last time. Okay, okay, no, I almost had it. I almost had it. That's better. And only one hit will do it with these guys. So what is he going to give us now? No idea what he's doing to us right now. Uh, I have no idea what's going on. I'll tell you what's going on. I just lost a lot of beads. What is he doing? I don't get this. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, okay, I see what I'm supposed to do. I see now, okay. Okay, that's what we're supposed to do, okay. I get it now. So now what are we doing? Who are we battling next? Okay. We're battling the one that, the one from, I think his name was Squashini? No, no, it wasn't Squashini. Um, the one from Waterland. <laughs> Okay, come on out. Alright. Okay, come on. Let me get to the beads. Let me get the beads. I want the beads. Okay, another one of these. Awesome. Awesome. Favorite. Final battle, Reed! <laughs> you should know this! Alright. Well, why do you come down here? Okay. Okay. For a second there, I thought that was it. <laughs> ah, no! Okay, those enemies are not ones I can defeat on my own. Alright, 
Oh, now that, oh man, what it is, I was hoping. Yeah, that's what I was One hard level! Though I probably should have seen it coming. It is the final boss and everything. What am I supposed to do? I don't even know. so it shouldn't be much of a shocker that it's the hardest one, but still! Is that it? Please tell me that was it! Oh no, it's not it. I know what you're doing now. Yep. <laughs> Skating, that's funny. <laughs> uh, when Prince Props just runs, just runs away, just runs away, he doesn't really care. <laughs> I love that. I like how they just disappear into the background and they're random. Hi! <laughs> Alright. And I think that is the end. With Yin Yarn's spell broken, Dreamland returned to its normal state of peace and quiet. This is goodbye, Fluff said. Hey guys, sorry about the cut there. I, um... My camera's SD card ran out, ran out of room, so I had to go empty out the card and come back. But don't you worry, I kept the video right where it left off. So here's the rest of the really touching video.
Kirby. As long as you have this magic sock, you can visit me anytime. Until then, Fluff said as he returned to Patchland. And that's the story of how Kirby and Prince Fluff defeated Yin Yarn the Sorcerer and restored peace to Dreamland. has been Kirby's Epic Yarn. I want to thank all you guys who watched with me, who shared the laughs, all of that. I want to say something that I have, that I have stopped myself from mentioning throughout this entire series, which is, this whole series has just been so stressful. Getting the videos out to you guys was the most stressful part, I think. Because, um... Because putting the videos online took, like, all my internet. So if, if I wanted to upload a video, I couldn't do stuff on the internet, which was one of my favorite things. So I had to record them at night, and sometimes I would forget. And uh, it was stressful. But all the same, this was a really fun series for me. It's different from anything I've ever done. And I've actually, and I actually completed a Let's Play for the first time! <laughs> for those of you who have been fans of mine for a while will know that I attempted to do Super Mario Sunshine, but never actually finished it and deleted all the videos from that because I was not into that at all. Which is also sad because Super Mario Sunshine was the very first game I ever played. But, but I'm getting off topic here, I want to talk about Kirby's Epic Yarn. This is the only Kirby's Epic this is the only Kirby game I've ever played, and... But that doesn't mean I'm not a big Kirby fan. I do really love Kirby. I like how he's played in Super Smash Brothers, which is another one of my favorite games. So I thought I might go ahead and do one of these, and I ended up liking it. I ended up liking this a lot. But at the same time, I don't think I'm going to be doing another Let's Play. I might change my mind later, but this was this was more <laughs> work I've ever had to put into a video than I've ever had. It may not look like much, but it really did take a lot of work. It took a lot of work for me. But all at the same time, this was really fun. And I'm kind of sad that it's over now. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play Kirby's Epic Yarn. And I leave you with the greatest line in the history of the world. In the history of this game, I mean. Thanks to all of you for watching this amazing journey with Curves of the Curing.